Hello, it's Lisa here at Edgeless Wild Food. Today I'm going to be talking about what I'm up to with some foraged quinces. These are japonica quinces, they tend to grow on low growing shrubs and have bright red blossoms, although they can be pink or white as well, but less often. Um, right now it's March, so actually it's a good time to clock the bushes because you can see the bright blossoms on them. But as I did a couple of days ago, it's actually worth having a look on the bushes and under the bushes as well because these ones had overwintered and they were still absolutely fine. So the first thing I did was to core them and to take all the pips out. Some of them I chopped up and made a vodka with, so I've just put the fruit straight into some neat vodka and added some sugar to taste. That has been there about a month or so. It's making a lovely colour already. The other thing you can do is then to chop them all up and put them into a pan with just covering with water and then you just reduce them down on a very very low heat with the lid on. It takes about three hours until it changes to this orangey pink colour. What I then did was put the, the pulp and pips and everything through the potato ricer to get rid of most of the moisture and then I put that through a fine sieve. So the pulp has been doubled sieved and then what you can do is hang it over a bowl on some in some muslin overnight and that will get out the juice the pulp you can then make into fruit cheeses so you make these by weighing the, the pulp that's been strained of all the liquid that you can get out you add the same weight of sugar and the juice of a lemon and then you do it on the lowest heat possible and you reduce it down until it goes really jammy and it all sticks together. So it's called a fruit cheese but that's because you can slice it and it goes solid. It's got so much pectin in it you don't need to add anything and that's wonderful with manchego cheese or goat's cheese. Oh, I absolutely love it. It's very popular in Spain and Portugal and they call it membrilla. It's basically a quince paste or a quince cheese. The liquid that you strain off is a wonderful orangey pink colour. Now that you can use for lots of things. You can add sugar and boil it down. And when it's ready to set, you can do the setting test on plates. You can make a lovely jelly, which is an absolutely gorgeous colour. The other thing I decided to do was to put some in the bottom of a, a bottle and then add vodka. I added a bit of sugar as well um, as I was reducing the juice down to get rid of some of the water. So well, that one's a new one for me, we'll give that a try. But you had to get to the point just before it turns the jelly, otherwise it will set. So there's kind of a balancing act to be done. I'm also doing another one of those uh, with gin in. So this liquid is just cooling down, otherwise it will it might burn the uh, alcohol off when I put it in. So that's just cooling. I've put that in with a funnel. That's still liquid, that's the important thing, it's not turned to jelly. And then finally, I've actually got another little bottle going as well because this liquid that's in here is not cooked. So I'm going to put that into the bottle and some sugar and not reduce it down like this. So that will be a slightly different vodka as well. So there's all sorts of things you can do. These fruits I have left, I'm going to slice up like this again. So I'm going to core them and take the pips out. And then I'm going to put them, maybe make like a tartar tan or a, some other kind of tart or maybe put them into a cake. Um, cook them a little bit perhaps. I'm going to read up on how to do that and uh, do something else with them as, as whole fruit this time. Lots of ideas there for you. Happy foraging!